Hello and welcome to Ferris Sports Update. I'm your host, Rob Bentley, and thanks for tuning in. On today's show, we'll talk Bulldog football as we update the progress here during spring ball. We'll also check in with Bulldog golf and tennis as they get ready to prepare for the GLIAC championships. We'll start first, though, with football and joined by head coach Tony Anise. And coach, welcome to the show. Thanks, Rob. Certainly uh, here, uh, about 10 practices into spring ball. Maybe, maybe just talk about where uh, your team's been uh, here through the last month or so. Yeah, a lot of progress. You know, we had, we had a ton of entries coming off uh, playing in late December. So um, some key players not participate in spring, which is great in my opinion. Uh, I don't want to take a risk on a, a proven player. And so I always say spring balls uh, really to, to make the unproven proven. And so we've been able to, uh, you know, get some guys developed. Um, you know, the, the depth is really what's critically important. Um, you know, from a quarterback perspective, you know, it's, it's more about uh, Evan Cummins and and Des Libertis than it is Travis Russell or, or Jay Rue. And, and so um, it's kind of like that at every position. But there's been some really, uh, you know, great development from some of our young guys. Um, you know, Marcus Taylor's one of them that really I said on offense, him and C.J. Jefferson probably the two, you know, MVPs of, of spring ball in regards to development, both talented uh, freshmen. And then um, on defense, Ian Hall's really been, uh, you know, a huge force for us. Uh, we're excited about him. And so that's kind of neat. James Caesar's a transfer um, that's shown uh, great promise in, in spring. So Obviously the spring game uh, coming up a little less than two weeks away on April 27th. Uh, maybe what uh, you're looking forward to. Uh, in that game in, in terms of having uh, the fans there to watch the spring game? Yeah, yeah. First off, uh, you know, lo long-term forecast, it's going to be somewhere between 75 and 80. Um, you know, so nothing better than a Saturday uh, starting at noon, um, coming out and supporting your college football team. So hopefully the fans show up. Um, we always make a great event. You're a big part of that great event, you know, basically. Uh, announcing it live for the fans and that's cool and uh, we got some special things um, that we're going to do <laughs> excuse me again so all of that uh, you know we'll make it for a great day uh, we're going to have some of our signees here um, junior day we got a football clinic for for high school football coaches um, so there'll be a lot of things involved on that weekend and we're excited about it you mentioned the weather. Uh, how's the weather been like this spring going uh, through the elements outside? But uh, certainly been a nice spring overall with the exception maybe of our rare April snowstorm. Yeah, truthfully, it's been a, it's been a better spring. Um, you know, we, uh, we had a, a rough one um, yesterday, but all in all, it's been good. Um, so, you know, you're used to it to a certain degree, but uh, when it gets later towards the middle of April, um, I'm not going out in the snow. So, uh, We've had to move a practice or two, but other than that, it's been good. Um, our, our, our guys, you know, they're, they're, they're just gritty. They'll go out there and attack anything, but uh, the old coach is kind of soft, so uh, I avoid bad weather days. But for the most part, it's been good, and uh, so we're, we're happy about that. Obviously, uh, another thing you've had to deal with this spring, some changes in your coaching staff. Uh, we had Brian Rock on a couple weeks ago, maybe talk about his transition in and, and losing Ryan Brady to a head coaching job here in the GLIAC. Yeah, so yeah, losing Steve Casula and Ryan Brady were, uh, you know, two key coaches, <clears throat> excuse me. But uh, Brian Rock is really, uh, you know, someone I've known for, for 30 years and uh, somebody um, who's really a great coach. So. Great to have him on board. Still haven't hired the, the defensive position and and uh, spending some time to, to try to you know think that through and see what our best choices are. But obviously Ryan Hodges is back and, and he's been our DC you know for for a number of years. So um, you know a lot of uh, continuity even though um, you know lost a couple key guys. But it's been good. You know our energy level has been great in the spring. Um, you know our coaches are great coaches and and really drive our guys hard, but uh, also are really connected with our guys. How much does that mean to, to you personally, uh, having Ryan Brady take a head coaching job now, three uh, other guys in the GLIAC that uh, formerly coached for you? Yeah, well, first off, it's like, uh, it's a huge honor. You know, uh, I didn't want to lose any of those guys. Uh, Ryan Brady was with me for 10 years, and so you don't want to lose a guy like that, but you also, you know, you love the fact that you see him uh, move on, you know, and uh, obviously um, for him, you know, we feel great about him. Um, for us, it's a burden because, 
these guys know our system, and um, Eli Reinhardt's there, Casey Zinner's there, um, you know, who were with us last year. So, you know, it's, it's a challenge from a communications, uh, you know, we're no huddle team, so they've got the same challenges, you know, trying to try to hide information from us, and, and uh, so that, that's challenging, but we're really proud of him, and proud of all those guys, and proud of anybody that's ever coached at Ferris, you know, um, to, to move on, you know, obviously, uh, you know, for Steve Casula, you know, he moved on and, and uh, you know, he's going to have a great career as well. So proud of all those guys. They're, they're great coaches and, and uh, you know, I love them and it's hard to lose loved ones, but, uh, you know, there's still people we'll love. It's just we got to now compete against them. Speaking of guys that have been at Ferris, a number of those uh, former players going to come back on June 8th, the annual uh, Bulldog football golf outing at Clear Lake Golf Club. Yeah, yeah, that'll be neat. Um, always, uh, always a fun event. Um, it's been it's been sold out, and and uh, so that's great. You know, for for our alumni uh, to be connected at the level that they're connected with us, and and uh, actually, uh, um, you know, Bill Love was here uh, this weekend uh, talking football with us, and and Brooksy was here. Uh, Mike Brooks was here as well talking football. So. You know, two former uh, players, not in my uh, time here, but guys that we've become really connected with. And, and so that's great. It's always a great event, always uh, fun to see those guys. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll look forward to that again. Following spring ball, obviously, uh, your guys uh, continue preparations for the fall. Schedule announced recently and a uh, couple tough games uh, right out of the bat with uh, Finley and non-conference uh, game and then a trip to Central Washington. Yeah, yeah, and then Pyle Ashland on that right behind Central Washington. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be tough, um, but that's what our guys want. You know, we want tough. You know, if if we could schedule um, the best of FCS, if we could schedule, uh, you know, some FBS teams, um, our guys want that. <coughs> they ask all the time. You know, can we can we play? You know, this team or that team? I'm like, no, the FBS can't play Division Two, but. Our guys want that, um, so they'll be excited about it, but it is going to be tough. How uh, short has this offseason maybe been uh, going from uh, the, the long season uh, all the way through the middle of December and now into spring ball, uh, maybe a chance to rest up here uh, once spring ball is done? Yeah, you know, uh, I watched Tiger, and it inspired me, so I'm really, you know, really looking to, to get my game as good as his is now, and so... Uh, you know, I'm looking to shape the ball the way he shapes it and uh, get that uh, get that uh, putter going and stuff. But um, no, truthfully, I feel uh, good about um, you know how spring's been. It's kind of you know the, the the fall was so long, you know, and we our kids played for you know 16 straight weeks. But now I feel like we've settled in, and for a while I felt burdened by the fact that we played for so long. Um, but now I feel like our guys are refreshed and energetic and and they'll attack it in the summer they always do and uh you know looking forward to, to the, the fall well coach thank you uh for being with us here today and looking forward to the spring game as well april 27th uh, top tiger field great to be here rob we'll be back with more ferris sports update right after this